You two just tied the knot on television. How are you feeling? Woo, what a ride. I'm thrilled and so happy that we can talk about it. Oh my gosh, Rockar, how are you feeling? This was such a big moment. I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> In the best way, I hope. Absolutely, oh yeah, for sure. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please, if you'd like. Let's talk all about this wedding. Um, that day you show up to set, kind of walk me through what the energy and the tone was like that day. Well, I remember that uh, we were originally gonna shoot the wedding in front of the mercantile. When Martin and I are, are putting on the, uh, the flowers on each other, that was, we were in the mercantile because we were then originally, at the way it was scripted, we were gonna go out and get wet on the front stairs of the mercantile. And it was going to be outside, of course, uh, weather permitting, that did not happen. So we ended up getting a church wedding, which was kind of cool uh, as well, but it was a change for sure. I don't know if it was uh, made on the day or the day before or something day like that. It was, was it the day yeah. before? Yeah. yeah. Lawrence knows. <laughs> I know the exact timeline of when this all went down. So Loretta, tell me a little bit about that day. Was there a certain magic in the air that day? Did it feel a little different? Yes, it did. I mean, I was so excited and, and I am personally married too. And so it did start to bring back so many memories of my own wedding and my own feelings of like, oh my goodness, like, this is such a big change for these characters. Like everything is going to be somewhat different now, you know, getting married. And so I felt so cared for the hair and makeup team. They made me truly feel like a queen on that day. Even though it was make-believe, they still made me feel so uh, special and beautiful and it was lovely. Loretta, you are a queen in real life and Florence is absolutely a queen as well. I wanna talk a little bit about tradition. Were there any bridal traditions that you enforced on the day of? I will say that Johanna Newmarch, who plays Molly, which is Florence's best friend, we are team Flomo, you know, <laughs> BFFs forever. When we went for lunch the transport that was taking us back to circus for where we were going to eat when we opened the door of the van my wedding dress was stuck in the door and i think johanna and i had a full like bride and bride's best friend moment like oh my goodness this is a crisis this is a crisis we need to fix it we need to fix this right now and honestly johanna in true form she fixed it she was like don't leave don't leave she's stuck in the door and so and she helped me get that dress out of the sliding door and away we went and i said oh my goodness this is like a like a, a real wedding day fiasco wow okay and did the dress make it out okay any sure. threads pulled no, miraculously, no. I didn't know how I was going to tell Barbara that there had been an accident. I don't think she would have been taken it well. It all worked out, but Johanna really came to the rescue. I appreciate you all so much. Can you tell me any secrets about the dress? We tried a lot of different things with the waistband of the dress that ended up being just like beautiful flowing pieces. But at one point there was gonna be like a big bow, you know, on the back. And uh, wow. I said, I don't know, I feel like, with the hair, it might be just too much of a risk for Florence. So we ended up uh, with what we ended up with, which was so beautiful. And that's actually a separate piece. So I really loved that. You know, we certainly talked a lot about hair and makeup and jewelry and, and all, of, all of that kind of stuff. We knew that Florence's hair had to be a really big transformation because, you know, she's a very somewhat uptight and put together controlling character character who always wears her hair up and so for Florence that would be a really big risk to have her head down and flowing and so feminine and everybody was gonna look at her which I think was quite confronting for her as well and the hair piece that um, that ended up in Florence's hair we absolutely collaborated on what that would be and it was a really a really fun experience so yes I did get to have a say well you looked absolutely gorgeous and stunning and breathtaking and you too, Rothgar, you looked so sharp and so handsome. Did you have input in what your character wore and what the boutonniere looked like? I had some really, really uh, strong ideas what the hair should look like for Ned. They, you uh, nailed it. <laughs> I nailed it, yeah. They were, everybody came together and it was beautiful. They everyone just turned out just the way I'd imagined. <laughs> they just told me what to put on and I wore what they told me to, uh, which is, you know, 
classic Ned, so that's fine. Before we get into the actual wedding ceremony, I, I wanna talk about some of the touching moments that we saw leading up to the big day. May I ask that we share our first kiss here in private? Let's, uh, let's make it a good one. Tell me about why that was important to Ned and Florence. Well, I think because uh, it's a public display and they're fairly public people, but private in lots of ways too. I asked, actually asked Loretta, Rothgar asked Loretta, hey, listen, do you want to try this kiss like you and I, like somewhere so that, and she was like, no, 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 I want to do it on the day live in front of the crew. It is Lawrence and Ned's first kiss, and there's such a sort of innocence to these two characters trying to navigate their way through this new and second chance at love, which is really endearing. Let's make it Loretta and Rothgar's first time too, and see if that adds any, you know, special secret pixie dust, you know, to, to, to make it extra, uh, extra real. Well, I think you both did a fantastic job because I even get goosebumps thinking about what a magical scene it was. Loretta, I want to talk to you about a moment that absolutely got me choked up. Florence, she shows all the ladies her stunning bridal look and she asks for a moment alone with Molly. You really are the sister I never had. You're the mother I forever wanted and you are the friend that I have always needed. How did you get through that monologue without getting tearful yourself? Well, the first take, I did not. <laughs> so I couldn't even get the words out. It was kind of like the, the last episode of Friends when Monica and, Jen and Jennifer Aniston and Rachel are saying, oh, let me see they're crying that they can't even get the words out and they don't even understand each other. It was like that. You know, Deidre, that scene between Molly and Florence is, that's actually the reason why I really wanted to do When Calls the Heart, because I wanted to do a show that celebrated the sisterhood of true friendship between women who support each other and who love each other and who are right there and know their best friends so, so well. It was such a beautiful way for Florence to be able to give tribute to Molly and everything that she means to her. So that's actually my favorite scene of the episode. You've walked beside me, picking me up whenever I've stumbled along the way. And you have done the same for me. Oh. How much of that is Florence and how much of that is actually Loretta in that moment telling her friend Johanna how much she means to her? Absolutely. I mean, where does one start and the other one begin? Yes, it's absolutely, you know, Loretta talking to Johanna and also Loretta talking to all the women of the world, you know, to say, love your best friend and appreciate your best friend. And oh my goodness, isn't it wonderful to have friends like this? Let's talk a little bit about the wedding. What was it like for you, Rothgar, to be standing there in the moment, watching Loretta as Florence come down the aisle? You know, I get choked up even thinking about it now. It's a strange thing when you're, cause you're acting. And so you're like, fine, I, uh, but moments have a, a realism to them. And when beautiful bride walks down the aisle, I have trouble containing myself. So if there were tears in my eyes, it was it was for real. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a beautiful, lovely moment. And it's, it's actually, it's a lovely, lovely thing to get to experience as an actor because it's so profound in some way. And I, you know, I think Florence has been on such a, a personal journey throughout the seasons, but especially in season eight. And that was such an important moment for her to walk down the aisle because it was really an embracing of loving herself and being like, oh my goodness, I am walking into a whole new frontier of my life. You know, I think a lot of fans um, were maybe anticipating Florence's son, Paul, walking her down the aisle. Was that something that was ever part of the conversation? We had sort of made the decision that because Katie was sort of joining the wedding party later, that he would already be there. Mm -hmm. And I sort of felt like, you know, Florence has really been on this uh, sense of, of empowerment throughout this, this episode, sort of feeling really insecure. And because she's been searching for that one thing that nobody can do for her but herself, which is self-compassion and self-love. And I really just felt like, well, her walking down the aisle is a good manifestation of that because she's saying, I'm gonna let my light shine. Here I am. 
Yes, as Molly said, huzzah. It was such an amazing moment, right? <laughs> That's right. Rothgar, I wanna ask you, you guys decided to let Bill and Joseph kind of take the lead on doing the vows. Was that ever a conversation that you had about maybe reciting vows to one another? How did you guys come about um, how you did it? I think, again, that was scripted. So there wasn't a lot of improv. We just, I just, I, you know, I just do what I'm told. I, it would have been nice to do some vows, come to think of it. Yeah, let's let's reshoot that. Let's do some vows. <laughs> hey, look, we, we have time right now. Is there anything you'd like to say to your beautiful bride, Florence? Yeah, absolutely. I remember really specifically one of the first times I was on set, When Calls Heart, season one, and I was blown away by how good Loretta was. I remember, Aww. yeah, no, seriously. I remember thinking, wow, because she was so deeply in the character and 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 just Sean. That, let that be my vow. I was, uh, I was blown Aww. away how good you were. That's so lovely. Thank you, Rothgar. I think that you are an incredible talent, a wonderful collaborator, and I'm so privileged to get to work with you and also get to know you and, and call you a friend. And uh, man, I hope that we get to have these fun times for many more seasons to come. I really do. You're, you're a blessing in my life. And When Calls the Heart is a big blessing in so many of our lives. You're here. Well, I cannot wait to see what the future holds. My last question for you, Rothgar, very hard hitting question. Yeah, yeah. Did you know in all of your years of being on When Calls the Heart, did you know that your character Ned's name was actually Edmund? No, not at all. You were stunned just like Lee was. Absolutely. In fact, there's a take where I'm like, what? Is that my name? No. Edmund. Did you know his name was Edmund? Yeah, yeah, Edmund. I love it. I'm an Edmund. That works. <laughs>